how to tell stories around climate science more creatively. If we continue to tell the same story and not innovate, then people will tune it out because they think this is a story they've heard before, and it's up to us as communicators to explain why that's not the case. I'm Alec Loon. I'm a climate journalist. Well, I started in journalism as a foreign correspondent, an English language newspaper in Moscow covering mainly politics but felt that I was missing the bigger story of our era, which I think is climate change. Even as I was in Russia, I started doing more climate stories, ended up going to the Arctic a lot, covering permafrost. Two times more carbon is held in the permafrost than is in the atmosphere currently, and that's starting to be released and emitted, and was working there when the full-scale invasion of Ukraine happened. After we did have to leave Russia, I transitioned full-time to covering climate. So as permafrost continues to thaw, this problem is only growing. There's a lot of challenges with reporting on climate change. One, it's a slow-moving, incremental story that people think they've heard before. It's getting warmer, it's getting worse, and so it's always a challenge to bring the story of climate change in a new light and to communicate that it's not the same story we've always heard before. It's actually very dynamic and developing very quickly. The other challenge with it is it affects the people who are the least heard, the least seen, the most vulnerable. There are rays of hope, and the biggest one for me is just seeing how fast technology has changed to the point that it's often cheaper to save the world than to destroy it at this point. The cost of electric vehicles is coming down. The revolution in solar panels has meant that it's cheaper now to build a renewable power plant in most places than it is to build a, a fossil fuel power plant. That's changing the basic calculus, the economics of the question. A lot of people think that in this day and age of social media, that attention spans are so short. But actually, what some readership statistics show is that people are still reading long articles, even if it's on a tiny screen of their smartphone. Nobody canceled the power of storytelling. Stories are still how humans understand their world.